how do you take something like this, this is a digital painting I did a few years ago, to a finished product like this. So this is a skateboard deck uh, and it's a finished painting. How do you do that? Well, I'm gonna share that with you today. It's very easy and I wholeheartedly believe in working smarter, not harder. So once you learn this tip, it is gonna change your world. So today we're really gonna be talking about the transfer process. So for that process, I used Serral transfer paper. This is actually a graphite paper. One side is smooth, one side has graphite on it and it acts like a carbon paper, if you're familiar with that concept. They also offer a variety of other transfer papers. And of course, Serral is not the only company that does it but it's just one that is consistent and you can find it pretty easily at places like Dick Blick or um, online. Serral actually offers other colors as well. So there's a non-photographic blue that they offer. There's a red, uh, I think people use that in ceramics. There's a yellow that I believe is used for metals. There's a white and then there's this graphite. And today I'm gonna demonstrate how the graphite works and this will definitely help you speed up transferring your illustrations to a substrate. So tonight I'm teaching a watercolor class. We're gonna transfer the sketch of the door that we're gonna be painting tonight to watercolor paper. I'm gonna show you how I do it. If you use this technique, I'm gonna to wanna to hear about it and how it worked for you. Okay, so as you can see, this is what I provide my watercolor students with. So they have an outline of what they're gonna be drawing. And first, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna trim it down a little bit. Just to make my life a little bit easier. So I have the size that I'm gonna need to do my transfer. And then next, I'm gonna take my Serral transfer paper this transfer paper acts a little bit like saran wrap in that it's in a roll. Like this one might looks like it could be a brand new roll that I haven't unwrapped before. So you can see this is the side that has graphite on it. This is the side that doesn't. Ultimately, we're gonna want the side that has graphite on it facing our paper. And first we need to cut it into the right size to transfer. So it looks like this is gonna be a good size here. So you're gonna cut it with your scissors. It does not have to be fancy. This can get a little messy and it will transfer. So it could transfer uh, to your fingers or whatnot, but you'll want this facing down on your paper. And what I like to do is tape it to my paper. We're lucky we have a little bit of tape there. I can use a little bit of uh, washi tape here and just tape it down. This is a great, great tool to use with watercolor. And you see I have a little extra transfer paper so you can save that actually once you're done using it. But then you see we have our picture that we want to transfer facing us so we can see this. And we're gonna tape it to the back of our transfer paper just to lessen the amount of movement that will happen as we are working. I'm gonna need a ruler. And really, it's always good to have one of these cork uh, rulers on hand because there is less skidding that happens. So we're gonna need, for this specific drawing, I'm gonna need a ruler, but also you may want a colored roller ball pen because this tells you where you've been in your drawing and also it presses down a little harder than some other kinds of gel pens and whatnot. You could also use a pencil too. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up so you can see what the process looks like and we can look at the finished product. Okay, so this is what it looks like uh, when we 
have drawn on this transfer here on our drawing. This is why it's really handy to have a colored pen because you can see where you have and have not been. And when you remove this, you can see the image that the graphite has left behind. Now I want you to just look at the back side of this graphite because we could actually use this page for some other things because there's plenty of graphite left on this. And if you're an artist on a budget, that might matter to you. But that is how you use this transfer paper. And a quick tip that I'd like to give you is I often use kneaded erasers, especially when I'm working with watercolor. If you roll it around in your hand, you kind of create a little tube out of it and you can roll it over the top of your drawings if you need to lighten it for some reason or you don't like pencil marks in your painting. That's a handy tool. It's always actually very handy to use a kneaded eraser for drawing. All right, if you need additional tips on watercolor paintings or you want some fun, quick assignments, here are some videos that you can check out that have my watercolor series on them. I wanna know if you've tried this and you found it to be helpful. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you want to share your work on social media, you can tag me at either I have gumption or Paige Weber Art and Instagram. I'd love to see what you're working on. All right, hit that subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing in social media. I want to see your paintings and the work that you're creating. Until next time, stay creative.